Hello, today we're just going to quickly walk through the account setup process. So you'll get two emails during the account provisioning process. The first one you'll see on the screen, and this one comes from Better Cloud, and this is going to have your password, your email address, and a link you can click to go log in. The second email is going to be a welcome from FireNet email, and this email is from us. It helps you with guidance as far as setting up your password and two-step verification. So to start, I've already set up, um, I've gone here, I copied my password, and I have my email address, so I've gone to this link. And if you already have a FireNet account, it will, um, I'm sorry, if you already have a, a Google account, it may bring you to this screen. So what you're gonna have to do is add, um, use another account. If it brings you to a screen that just has um, the option for you to put in your email address, you're gonna go ahead and put in your new FireNet email address. Otherwise, use another account and you will enter the email address, hit next, and the password that you get in the Better Cloud email. Now that's all you're gonna do with this email. We're not doing launching the Better Cloud or anything. Um, we're just gonna work with the text in this email. This is the system that we use to upload new users. So once we've done that and our new password is set, we're gonna go ahead and do two-step verification. So let's go visit our welcome email again. So here's my welcome email, step one, I've reset my password, step two, two-step verification. So I can either copy the link once I log in, or what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna click two-step verification. So here's our two-step verification screen, super easy. Now I'm gonna come up here to the right corner of my screen. So what happens, so as you see right here, I'm in my iOS account. What happens by default if you have a Gmail account on your computer, when you go to that two-step verification, it will often go to your default account, so the account that you use most often. So if I set up two-step verification right now, it's going to set it up on my iOS account. Um, so we don't wanna do that, I wanna set it up on my demo account. So I'm going to click here, and it's gonna let me choose the account. So if you're working, if you either have an iOS account, if you have a personal Gmail account, you're gonna want to get acquainted with this upper right-hand box um, circle. So you'll see here, I've changed my pictures. So if I use an account often, I change the pictures so I know what account I'm logged into. It's just a little bit of a reminder. So I'm gonna go scroll down, so here I am. I click the two-step verification link, I see I'm in the wrong account, so I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna go down to demo user. All right, so now I'm on the two-step verification page and logged in as the correct user. So I'm gonna say get started. And it wants my password again. Okay, let's set up your phone. Let's see if it'll let me set up a fake one. Oh, no, it's gonna test it. Let's see. So, I'm not gonna put my number in here, then everybody will be calling me for help. <laughs> so, just go ahead, you put your phone number in here hit next and then you'll get, you're gonna get a code on your phone. Um, most people do the text message code or you could get a phone call. So if you do the text message code, hit next, you're gonna get um, a code on your cell phone and you are going to confirm the code, hit next, and then you'll get a, you'll get a message that says two-step verification set up. So you wanna make it to that message. If you don't get two-step verification set up, it um, eventually will kick you out of the system because that's part of our uh, security protocol. So two-step verification has to be set up. Thank you so much, hope you have a great day.